Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about our 2012 rosé of Grenache. Uh, it's a screw cap, which makes it convenient. Uh, we have been making rosé here for quite a while. We started with Syrah, and then we did a Syrah Grenache blend, and then about three or four years ago, we switched to Grenache only. Uh, I think the advantage of a pure Grenache rosé is that Grenache takes so well to rosé, it has more of a rosé character than rosés made from other wines. You can make rosé, for instance, from Pinot Noir or even Cabernet or any, you know, almost any red grape, but what we found is that Grenache gives the most intensity of that particular character that is rosé. I can't think of a single word to describe that character, but it just brings a lot of intensity. Uh, a few years ago also we changed our methods to the uh, more modern French method which involves taking the whole clusters and pressing them as if it was a white wine. The older method of making a rosé that was common five, six years ago was that you would crush the fruit and then drain some of the juice off. It's called a bleed method. This is the whole cluster method. It was developed in southern France where rosé is a huge part of what they do. And it makes a wine with Lighter color, lower tannin, less red wine-like character, more white wine-like character, more perfumed, fruitier, um, smoother in general. Uh, this year we made twice our normal quantity of this. Uh, normally this wine sells out very, very quickly. This year we'll have it uh, a little bit longer. So we hope we'll have it in stock all summer. That's our goal. Last year I think we were completely out by the 4th of July. It's got a really pretty pink color. Color is very hard to get right uh, with rosé. They often are tinged toward orange or very pale colors. This one's got kind of a nice bright pink. Really, you probably may not be able to see it in this light, but it's, it's brighter and prettier color than normal. Very aromatic. There's the expected, there's kind of a melony. Sometimes it smells like watermelon to me. There's also a lot of berry flavors in it, but it's a very appealing, pleasant, Aromatic. There's also a, a tone in this year's that's that's unique to it, um, uh, and if you've had the prior years, you'll probably notice it as well. There's a, a slight uh, and pleasant resiny note. Um, it's kind of it doesn't smell like beer, but you know the resin or hop character that's in beer. There is kind of a hint of that in this uh, in this wine. And a wonderfully fruity, soft, delicious mouth. Um, full, seamless, very well balanced, very refreshing, of course. This, this wine is ideal lunch, picnic. I sometimes drink it on the rocks at home. I like it really cold, and the dilution with the water doesn't hurt it. So uh, you can put even a little bit of uh, sparkling water in there and kind of make a spritzer out of it. A uh, really fun wine. And you can drink it seriously, too. I mean, this will stand up to food. It's not just for uh, play wine.